Now we're going to learn how to construct a triangle if two sides and an angle between them is given. Let's say you are given that AB is equal to 6 cm, BC is equal to 4 cm, and angle ABC is equal to 60 degree. Construct a triangle. Now, what I notice here is that I know two sides. Let's say if I draw a rough triangle, A, B, C. Okay, I know AB is equal to 6 cm, BC is equal to 4 cm, and angle ABC, ABC, this angle is 60 degree. So how do I kind of construct this? I guess it's fairly easy. Let's see it in a structured manner. The first thing I do is, I know side AB, so I will draw AB is equal to 6 centimeter. Okay? So I have done this. Now BC I know is 4 centimeter, but where do I construct this BC? Now BC can be something like this, 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 this. It can be anywhere. But I don't know where to construct BC, this particular line. But what I know is that the angle between, which is there at BC, is equal to 60 degree. So instead of doing this guesswork, what I do is, I construct a 60 degree angle at point B. Let's say this angle when constructed is equal to something like this. So the steps were, draw AB equals to 6 cm, then draw angle B is equal to 60 degree. Now I know that BC lines the point C, point C, where does it lie? It lies somewhere on this line. And what I know is that the distance BC is equal to 4 cm. So what I do is I put the center of my compass here take the distance between the compass as 4 cm and cut an arc here. Let's say the arc is cut here. So my point C comes here such that BC is equal to 4 cm. And then I can join C and A. Right? So I get AC as well as this triangle which is with the following dimensions. Now a variation, a small variation for this is, this could be that you could be given this and you would be told find AC. If that be the case, what you need to do is once you've constructed and joined this through a straight line, you just measure the length of this using your ruler. And whatever is the distance between them will be the length of AC. I'm not, I mean, I can also find it out, but what I'm trying to do here is, I am just telling you the mechanism because this is not an exact figure. So therefore, once you construct the exact figure, you will get the length of AC.